Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer on this Tuesday, June 8th. We are commemorating Roland Allen. And at the end of the liturgy, there will be a section of, or a bio of Roland Allen so you can learn something about the person that we are remembering today. Thank you for joining me. Oh Lord, open my eyes that I may see the needs of others. Open my ears that I may hear their cries. Open my heart so that they need not be without succor. Let me not be afraid to defend the weak because of the anger of the strong, nor afraid to defend the poor because of the anger of the rich. Show me where love and hope and faith are needed and use me to bring them to those places. And so open my eyes and my ears that I may this coming day be able to do some work of peace for thee. Amen. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Let's read together Psalm 119. I call with my whole heart, answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning, I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness, according to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. Two men remained in the camp one named Eldad and the other named Medad, and the spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they had not gone out to the tent, and so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Josiah, son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, one of his chosen men said, my Lord, Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets and that the Lord would put his spirit on them. The word of the Lord. Wisdom freed from a nation of oppressors, a holy people and a blameless race. She entered the soul of a servant of the Lord, withstood dread rulers with wonders and signs. To the saints, she gave the reward of their labors and led them by a marvelous way. She was their shelter by day and a blaze of stars by night. She brought them across the Red Sea. She led them through mighty waters, but their enemies she swallowed in the waves and spewed them out from the depths of the abyss. And then, Lord, the righteous sang hymns to your name and praised with one voice your protecting hand. For wisdom opened the mouths of the mute and gave speech to the tongues of a newborn people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. When a great crowd gathered, and people from town after town came to him, he said in a parable, a sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell on the path and was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered for lack of moisture. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. Some fell into good soil, and when it grew, it produced a hundredfold. As he said this, he called out, let anyone who hears, ears to hear, listen. Then his disciples asked him what this parable meant. He said, to you, it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but to others I speak in parables so that looking they may not perceive, and listening they may not understand. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. 
the ones on the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. The ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe only for a while and in a time of testing fall away. As for what fell among the thorns, these are the ones who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. But as for that in the good soil, these are the ones who, when they hear the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patient endurance. The word of the Lord. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord, with heavens and all waters above the heavens. Sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Sing praise and give honor forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer. Glorify the Lord, sing praise and give honor forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet. Glorify the Lord, sing praise and give honor forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts. Glorify the Lord, sing praise and give honor forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, by your spirit, you opened the scriptures to your servant, Roland Allen, so that he might lead many to know, live, and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Give us grace to follow his example, that the variety of those to whom we reach out in love may receive your saving word and witness in their own languages and cultures to your glorious name. Through Jesus Christ, your word made flesh, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Ever present God, you called us to be in relationship with one another and promised to dwell wherever two or three are gathered. In our community, we are many different people. We come from many different places, have many different cultures. Open our hearts that we may bold, be bold in finding the riches of inclusion and the treasures of diversity among us. We pray in faith. Amen. Give us, O oh God, the vision which can see your love in the world in spite of human failure. Give us the faith to trust your goodness in spite of our ignorance and weakness. Give us the knowledge that we may continue to pray with understanding hearts and show us what each one of us can do to set forward the coming of the day of universal peace. Amen. For all those who have fallen victim to hatred and inhumanity, for those loved ones who are left behind to mourn, for the souls of those whose hearts are cold, Lord, hear our prayer. For the children who are being born into this world of conflict and violence, for women and mothers who suffer needlessly, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have been forced into unemployment, who long to return to work, for all those who struggle to support their families, Lord, hear our prayer. For the soldiers who are misguided in thinking that their bullets will bring about peace, for those who feel called to consciously object to military orders, Lord, hear our prayer. For the children who cry in their beds at night and wonder, what have I done? For the mothers and fathers who must try to explain the unexplainable, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the children who have died before their time, 
for the soldiers who allow their uniform to strip them of their humanity, for the healers who are denied the opportunity to use their gifts. Lord, hear our prayer. For the redemption of souls of both victim and perpetrator, for those who commit themselves to the forgiveness of sins. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.